a must-win situation. Joe Paternos, Nittany Lions, and Joe Tiller's Boilermakers coming up in just a bit here from Purdue. But now let's go to the ABC studio with John Saunders, Craig James, and Doug Flutie for a preview of the day in college football. Looking it out. Penn State and its suffocating defense against Purdue and their explosive emerging offense. So glad you could join oh, us here. Lesney is there and can basically take the lead in total tackles at Purdue, excuse me, at Penn State before he leaves. Plays the run exceptionally well, plays the pass exceptionally well. Last season had the ugly knee injury in the Orange Bowl. He's back, he's 100%, and he's making college football opponents around the country feel his presence this year. Puz Lesney, the 2005 National Defender of the Year, trying to make it two in a row, but it will be difficult. Watch the special teams, watch the kickers, and watch the guys who have to return with this high sky. Fellas, it's going to be a tough day. Thank you, Dave. Chris Summers kicks it off on this autumn day. Derek Williams, the electric performer, is stuck. Oh, my. What? Anthony Morelli, in his first year as the starting quarterback for Penn State, hands it off to Tony Hunt. Hunt the out at six. Again, they give the ball to Hunt, and Hunt breaks a tackle. Has first down yards, gets across the 35-yard line. Effort here, kind of stopped in his tracks. Want to get down here, low counter play. They pull Levi Brown around, and then all of a sudden, Tony Hunt squeezes through there. He's in the second level of the defense, one on one with a free safety, Brandon Irwin. Tony Hunt, right there, moving the change for this Penn State offense. Will they stay on the ground? Yes, they do. Hunt, his third consecutive carry, and this time, if Tony Hunt is a stake. Derek Williams is the sizzle. Yeah, you look at this. Tony Hunt, he's the guy that provides it on the ground. We talked about him a little bit, a good downhill runner. And Derek Williams, when Anthony Morelli wants to go to the game. Return those Nittany Lions. Play action. They slip it out. Pass is complete to the fullback. Matt Hahn, good yards. And he's going to watch the eyes of Anthony Morelli right here, selling everything down the field first, and then going to flip it out to the fullback, Matt Hunt. And then all of a sudden, it's all athletic ability there, breaking tackles, staying in bounds, and picking up the first down for this Penn State offense. Again to the skies. Morelli with that big arm, throws it underneath. That's its complete nominal game. Nittany Lions need to get to the 40. Morelli with time gets it out to the tight end Corliss He's just a freshman Derek Williams his first touch on offense and Williams with good yards down the right side reverse the fake is what sells the Purdue defense right there everybody goes with him and now it's Derek Williams in open space they like to get the football to him any way they can experience group in the secondary Fullback Han, good tough running between the tackles, gets down. Third down, big pass in and out of the receiver. Between the 20 and 30 yard line. And that is good from 29 yards. That is his Big Ten leading 15th field goal made on the year. Five receivers in the game to start things off for the Boilermakers. And a pass on first down is a strike. Next to Painter in the backfield. Now Bryant joins him. Little option. Painter spins and gets close to the first down. Well, defensively for Penn State, everyone talks about those great linebackers, but last week versus Illinois, it was the secondary that stepped up. Yeah, and it'll be the secondary today that will be sorely tested by this Purdue offense. Tony Davis, Donnie Johnson, Anthony Scarito there had a big game last week. He get the first down. Painter wants to throw. Flips it out, passes caught Kyle Adams. State to get a lead early on the road at Indiana. Sheets on the ground. Not much. Painter with time. Flips it out, passes high and knocked away. Looking for lips here. Painter, his second possession. Sophomore quarterback shows off a rocket arm. Pass complete to the tight end. window. Purdue, they have the win behind them here in the first quarter. And Painter, little option, keeps the matchup up top that he likes. Little quick hitter, pass incomplete. Orton, that's his second draft. Painter keeps it himself, has the first down. The team with just one. Wants to throw. 
into traffic. That ball's intercepted. Dan Connor with the pickoff. Boy, he read it extremely well. Tried to go into the curl, Rob. Season. Big defensive play. Linebacker U living up to its bill. The Curtis Painter dropping into the to the curl pattern right there in front of Selwyn Lyman and comes up with a big interception. Penn State on there. for the home run. After the fumble, Kinlaw goes out. Hunt replaces him. Early wants to throw on third and short. This time the pass is caught by Butler. Turnover down inside the 30-yard line. Penn State going into the win. They stay on the ground. Matt Some Hunt. nice short crisp throws. There's one of those short crisp throws complete to Derek Williams. It's behind Levi Brown. Everybody else newcomers this season. Morelli keeps it. Throws it high as fullback Snow has it. And he gets out. Oh, Ronzo could get some talent in there. Third down and short. And again, Penn State stays on the ground. First down and more. Tony Hunt. formation up top here for Penn State. They run out of it. And Tony Hunt this is called third and nine. Morelli. Fast ball. Juggled and caught. Derek Williams. He's got to be close. Williams, you watch him push off, and he gets to the first down marker, has to work back, and right there, nice concentration field. Fourth and one, they're going to go for it. Williams again bobbles it, handles it, gets the first down, lowers it. Football game, he's been patient. Kind of an awkward start to that play, and flags are all over the field, but still on his feet. How about that for tough running, Tony Hunt? Offense, moving forward. Repeat. Well, certainly they have early in this ball game. 15th play of this drive. Morelli. Smart play. Six minutes off the game clock. Third and 15. Morelli doesn't see the pressure behind him. Loses the football and is fortunate to this just. Is, this is just outside his line. He's got the wind at his back. That'll help. But the kick is no good. A little bit short and off to the. Purdue right now. The first field goal and then there. Coming up with a huge miss. Pass complete to Corey Sheets out of the backfield. Sheets. Four receivers in the game. And they stay on the ground. Sheets. Not much doing. Picks up. Penn State defensively didn't allow a touchdown against Illinois last week. Good carry. Allow Penn State and Purdue to move up a notch. Oh my! Big hit out on the perimeter. Passes in. And learned a couple of tricks of the trade. You see him right here, right here playing cover two. And sees the he went down with a thud. Second and ten. Delayed handoff. Sheets. Painter. Pocket collapses, trying to get out of there. And Painter struggles, and he's not going to get close to the cheer about for Purdue. They have. Not been able to muster much of anything offensively against Penn State. Nittany Lions with the football once he again. Michael Robinson's a season ago. Makes a difference. Hunt his second consecutive carry. Loses the ball late. Wasn't whistled down. Purdue with the football. Justin Scott pushed out of bounds. After review, there is indisputable video evidence that showed that the runner's elbow was down prior to the ball becoming loose. Just for the moment. Boy, you got a lot of guys there, about eight guys in the box. And they're going to try and run through it. No and chance. No way. The big fella, Anthony Spencer. Team it's the first. from the defensive end position with 62 tackles. Jeremy Capinos, high kick with the wind at his back. Drives Royce Adams all the way inside his 25. He stumbles. Five athletic offensive lineman and put him right in that weight room and develop that talent. Curtis Painter throws on first down. Passes complete. Right now you see all three Penn State linebackers right there in the box. They run it on second down. Jason Taylor. Play, I promise. Second down and nine. Painter wants to throw. That's a little bit too strong. It took me a while to be quite honest. And, and uh, you know, you just kind of got to find what makes you comfortable. On third down and nine out of the backfield, Jason Taylor with the first down. I lost him a couple of weeks ago to Rutgers. Painter, little option look. Gets it out to Taylor. And Taylor gets that close to And in that 1956 season, in case you're wondering, yes, Joe Paterno was coaching as an assistant coach. And the screen, too. Blitzed, he's hit, and the pass 
is incomplete. Standerford doesn't normally do that, but he dropped the football. Boy, he stared in the eyes of the defense, and Paul Puzlesny came through and delivered a huge punch on the sophomore quarterback, Curtis Painter, right here. He's just trying to read things out, waits till the last yeah, possible little conversation for you when we get to the sideline if you put it on the ground. 37-yard field goal attempt, Chris Summers. No good. The snap was a bit high, maybe threw out the timing. Yeah. But after a nothing gain on first down by Tony Hunt, Morelli wants to throw on second. Has a man, passes complete. Jordan Norwood with a grab. Enough to make that throw. Morelli throws it out. Incomplete. Trying to see by Dan Connor. So they're shooting themselves in the foot. Morelli needs a bunch. Throws that big ball incomplete. Looking for Deion Butler. Ray Rice should be on everybody's Heisman radar. 7-0 for the Scarlet Knights. Mass is complete. Dustin Keller, the tight end. Two fairly quiet seasons for Joy Tiller. All right, third down and three. Payne. As his man passes complete, and it's going to be enough for the first down. the second one in the second window with Lyman. Little jump ball. Sheets coming out of the backfield. He's brought down with big dreams here as we come to the close of the first half. We want to get a score here before they go to the locker room. Pass is complete. Dorian Bryant, their playmaker, gets to the 40 before he is gained. Just to rally up and make a for sure tackle. Another drop. Wow. A fastball through the wall. Block. They do have the wind at their back. Morelli being chased. Throws it up for grabs. Oh, almost intercepted. Terrell. A little time early with a transcript problem. Left Wyoming after a season. Big arm. Morelli fires it in. Complete. That's Norwood with the big gainer. You're just looking to hit Ten one seconds. big play. And here, Anthony Morelli on the same play we saw earlier in this ball game, running wide open is Jordan Norwood, his wide receiver. The best hands on the team. According to Galen Hall, he doesn't miss very many of them. As his <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morelli on second down. Wants a bunch. Throws into coverage again. Oh, my. Talk about playing with fire. 13 ticks remaining. Now a conservative call, Tony Hunt. Has the first down. That's going to stop the clock. Gets inside the 30. Defensive side of the football. Officially a 45-yarder. The southpaw, Kevin Kelly, uses the wind at his back and converts. So, how about that? Book ending, good drives for Joe Paterno and the Penn State Nittany Lions. They began the game going all the way down the field and picking up a field goal by Kelly. And now here they end the second quarter by going all the way down the field and getting another field goal. We're at halftime here at West Lafayette, Indiana. Our score, Purdue, a goose egg, Penn State, six. Coming up next. The window is back. He was only three of 11, so we talked about the ball sailing a little bit, and it's a little bit harder to adjust when you have the back, the wind to your back. Yeah, that's surprising that sometimes it's easier to throw into the wind. With the return, Corey Sheets off to a good start. Zigs and zags and gets out close to the 40. So good starting field position for Curtis Painter. And the Purdue Boilermakers, this is their best starting field position of the game. Sheets with the carry. There's the big fellas, but Punch really when they needed it to continue drive, they didn't. They came up short. Sheets fights for a couple. Down at four. Boilermakers want to keep this drive alive, and nothing doing. Looking for back, and Penn State's trying to work their way out of a, a hole here. Penn State 95 yards away from Pater going into the wind. To Tony Hunt. Hunt through that line of scrimmage out close to the handle first. on Tony Hunt. Quick snap, and they send the up back. Time's going to be uh, what makes or breaks him in a lot of scouts' eyes. Very patient runner, Hunt. He's Uses excellent that. at that. Now got 68 yards on the game. Quickly, they get it out to Butler, and Butler. Tony Hunt with the delayed handoff, and Hunt. A big gainer. This time a play fake, and Morelli has his ball tipped and intercepted. No, he dropped it. Dan Bick had an opportunity for a huge they got six bodies to block six if they choose to run, but they're going to try to screen here. They set up that screen, and it's a beauty. The tight end, Corliss, drops it. Loose football in Penn State. They keep possession. Offensively. 
Dating back to the first half, that's the third near takeaway for Purdue. Little screen, Tony Hunt makes the first man miss and keeps on his feet and gets close to the first down. I think he got it. They're going to give him a generous spot here. Sniff out the screens and they're rushing. They feel something funny up there. And there's a, wait a minute, I'm being released a little too fast. And they turn to run back. And all of a sudden, it's, it's all Tony Hunt right there working against Anthony Spencer, keeping the feet moving. Keith Smith come charging back in that ball game. Tip of the cap scored 24 points on Wisconsin though. Another delayed handoff and Kinlaw spins out of the first tackle and gets close to move those hips. A third and short. Oh, confusion in the backfield. Hunt trying to make the best of a bad situation and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Boy, and I mean if, uh, if you don't run a fake. But they punt it out of there. Rice Adams calls for the fair catch and it's actually caught yeah, by Penn I mean, State. That's He's he interferes with the with the fair catch, and that's going to be a free five yards there. Kick catch interference. 31, 31. On the kicky team, number six of the kicky team. That's They've a got a goose egg next to their name. Penn State's defense has been as advertised. Quick Painter gets it to the tight end, Dustin Taylor. Jason Taylor. Tough run. Boy, tough yards. Oh, no, no, no. trying to change it right back in the favor of Purdue. Gave Purdue 15 free yards to start this drive. Payne rolls out to his left, throws across his body, dangerous pass. Taylor had it, and he's gone. Taylor between the tackles. Pick up a five football game. You like those quarterbacks out of Texas, don't you? <laughs> that one can throw a little bit. Third down and two, Painter with time, calls his own number. Trying to break one of those linebacker tackles, and you're not going to do it when that linebacker is Paul Puzlesny. I'll tell you what, a great leader of this Penn State football team. And keep your eyes down the field. You'll see him once he moves around, tuck the football. Now it's tucked away. There's no way he can pull it back if someone comes open. Wait for the defensive <laughs> struggle, both teams well, trying to... Defensive it struggles can be pretty. <laughs> okay. They can be pretty. Absolutely. Coming from the guy who threw for 4,000 yards. <laughs> Playing pretty good. Third down and short. Penn State wants to go for it on the ground. Tony Hunt. I don't know. Yards. Yards. Good game. Tough, tough inside runner. Fullback, first man through. Brandon Snow, senior from Wilmington Nation, left side. Give to Hunt. And Hunt out to the 38. Got a little bit up here. I don't know if it's because I'm cold or I'm into the music. Third down and two. They go to the big fella. Tony Hunt, first down to 10, ball on the 40. Morelli wants a bunch, throws it deep down the field, looking for Butler. And they do. Nice run. Hunt across the 50 and another Hunt first down. Ball. He's been impressive. I tell you what, he has square. All right here, nice play fake. Get everybody thinking about to throw it outside. And then the underneath handoff to Tony Hunt following inside. Good block by Andrew Corliss, the, white, the uh, tight end. And he just gets into the teeth of the defense and they're able to pick up the football. And Excuse Tony, me, the first down. Tony Hunt over the century mark. He's got 108 yards on the game. That's his fifth 100 yard day of the season. Just the ninth game for Penn State. Bullet strike. It's caught. Tight end. Close. Refusing to go down. Oh my! He's all in here. He's going to put some zip on this football under the wind with nice rotation on it. And the freshman comes up with a huge, huge catch for Penn State. But the difference about the same mess with the football. Penn State doesn't want to have to settle for a field goal. Hunt with another carry and another big gainer. Spins away from a couple of tackles and gets inside well, the This won't go away though. Ref set it down. Give it to Hunt between the tackles. This drive has been all Tony Hunt. Oh my goodness. Another first down for him. Of Anthony Morelli. Well, they're going to certainly respect it from Tony Hunt. 25th carry of the game for Hunt results in the game's first touchdown. That drive was all Tony Hunt, the senior. Well, tip of the cap, Tony Hunt, 55 rushing yards on that drive, and then it lines up by a dozen. All right, Purdue, down 12-0. They need to get something going. They have been, well, not much going on at all here in the second half. But through. Dorian Bryant. In the backfield, caught 
and drop Sean Lee with the sack. And you'll see him show up on your left side of your screen here. All of a sudden, he's right in the backfield with Curtis Painter. You feel that. Get rid of the football. Second and 16. The bounce pass incomplete. Down at 16. They need a punch. Painter. Dangerous pass, almost intercepted, but a flag flies. Yeah, and I think uh, Dan Connor may have gotten a handful of jersey. Yeah. Sixth penalty of the day for Penn State. Purdue, they get to commit an infraction. Swarmed and brought down. Painter sacked for the second time this drive. On the inside. On the ground, second and 17. Corey Sheets. Run any kind of campaign. He's got it. <laughs> Third down and 11. Looking for a big play. Contact down the sideline and a flag flies. Trying to get the ball. Pass interference, number one, defense. 15 yard, previous. Painter, pocket collapsing. Throws and intercepted. Anthony Scarato with the football. Scarato, his third interception in the last two games. He now has a Big Ten high. Five interceptions on the year. So Penn State, they're in business. Let's see if they can salt this one away when we come back. We need some clock here. 1026 remaining. I hey, guess who? How about Tony Hunt? How about Tony Hunt? No, but instead they give it to Rocky Kinlaw. Kinlaw. And Kinlaw uses that good burst to get into the secondary. A flag. This. Credit the offensive line here. Le 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 Levi Brown. Number three. As well. Offense. Well, this one's coming back. Would have been a 27 yard game. Yeah, just a receiver, Deion Butler, trying to help secure the edge. Well, his brother is a freshman who also plays safety. Third carry of the game, Derek Williams from his flanker oh, spot. Third down at six, Jordan Norwood, man in motion. Morelli looking for Butler. Pass too high. And that's college season. Purdue back with the football, down by 12. They have the offense to get back in this game. Yeah. Get it out. There's a better football team. Not Ohio State, even though the Pulsers have that reversed. But I talked to several players, either in person or on the telephone, and they prefer Michigan. And we bought the two teams in the country. Then you throw Notre Dame in there as well. They were ranked fourth when they beat uh, Ohio Penn State. Look at Selwyn this. Selwyn Lyman goes up and wins the jump ball. And a Jason Taylor now in the game in the backfield for Purdue. They need a score desperately. Fake to Taylor. Painter throws it up high. Looking and then for come team. back on fourth down. You're certainly going to go for it. Painter wants a punch. Throws for Lyman, and it's too high. Down to 10, down by two touchdowns. Blitz is on. Painter has to just get it away. And that play never had a chance from the start. Dan Connor had the pressure. Penn State not, not at all. I thought they dropped passes and lost confidence early in this football game. And I thought early Curtis Painter was on time with the football and accurate. They just put it on the ground. Now he's forcing them. After a bobbled pitch out, Hunt happy just to make it hard on themselves and then come back and win it later. Oh, nice it's a play. blitz. They trump him. They give the ball to Tony Hunt, who's got room. Down to the 35-yard line before the freshman underneath. And all you're trying to do is get the defensive end up the field. Right there, Dan Bick takes the quarterback, Anthony Morelli. He shovels it underneath to Tony Hunt. And now it's just a foot race. And coming in is Royce Adams from his cornerback position. But you just want to take the end man on the line of scrimmage, give him a free release to the quarterback. As soon Give to the fullback and Snow loses the football. Oh, just what Penn State couldn't afford to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He jumped on the loose football and recovered it. Another loose ball, still on the ground and jumping on it. Gun snap, amazing. Loss of seven. Painter in a whole world of trouble and he goes down. Sacked by Jay Alford. Quarter alone. Third and 22. It's obviously four down territory. They need to get something going. Sheets just trying to bite off a bit. Breaks a couple of tackles and gets down to the 25. Taking some time at that line. Fourth down and four. Pass is complete and no chance. Are you kidding me? Tackle made by Nolan McCready. 
and that'll do it for Purdue. Yeah. You look at it, Nolan McCready sniffs this thing out. He is on a dead run from the time Curtis Painter cocked his arm back to throw it, and right there meeting Corey Sheets at the football. Almost 200 more y rushing yards than Purdue. Passing game has been pretty much even Steven, but the time of possession, Andre, you don't see that very frequently. Penn State, they've had the ball for 40 minutes and counting. And a very balanced output on the part of Penn State. 236 on the ground, 174 in the air. Trying to run out the clock. That's the big fella, Tony Hunt. Job not only running the football, providing running room, but protecting Anthony Morelli and allow him to hit some big passes down the field when they need Can it. Can he lose that long. Michigan game? Can Ohio State lose that game and Troy Smith still be the Heisman Award winner? Oh, he could still win it, definitely, if, with a loss to me. It depends on how he looks in that I game. Unbelievable turnaround at Indiana this year. We talk about this, the, the personal things that he's had to deal with this year. The brain cancer, not being around his team as much as he would have plays for you. And that's hardly been an artful performance for Painter. Came in averaging over 300 yards per game from the skies. He's not going to get anywhere close to that. 37, 188 passing yards for Painter and two interceptions. This time, Bryant comes down with it. And he's got it up for a first down. Painter trying to beat Connor to the sidelines. He does. Painter goes short. The hook and lateral. Trying to just run this one around. Painter gets it back and throws it to no one in particular. Ball still alive. But Purdue's not careful. This is going to be a touchdown for Penn State. <laughs> nice little uh, bunch of stuff going on here. This is still alive. No whistles, no nothing. Oh, uh -oh. my. Levi Look at that. Levi Brown. What kind of speed you got? Not much. It's Josh Gaines who ends up with the football. <laughs> I think you scored that a fumble Pretty recovery. Pretty entertaining finish, right? <laughs> yeah, big Josh Gaines. That's just saw the seven. The, the big defensive lineman couldn't get going. He steps out of that tackle. He may get himself to the end zone. Well, your typical Big Ten battle. It's what you expect to see late October. Weather starts to change. You get a little bit of wind, and the defense becomes very important. And today, that defense really limited Joe Tiller, Curtis Painter, and Purdue. The ground game of Tony Hunt got it done for Penn State as the Nittany Lions improved to 6-3 and three with the win. Joe Paterno is standing for Andre Ware. Dave Lamont, I'm Eric Collins, sends so long from West Lafayette. Now here is John Saunders, Craig James, and Doug Flutie.